welcome to the lecture series on uh, numerical methods today's lecture will uh, go for uh, like uh, numerical differentiation in the numerical differentiation we will uh, discuss about uh, various uh, interpolating uh, polynomials and based on this uh, like uh, polynomial uh, differentiation we can just evaluate uh, this uh, functional uh, derivatives this means that uh, if we are just uh, approximating uh, a function with a polynomial that uh, the derivative of this function can be written as the derivative of the polynomial also. So, that is why uh, here first we will uh, just uh, go for a introduction section that uh, how we can just approximate a function with a polynomial. Then we will just uh, start this differentiation by interpolation formula first for uh, finite difference formulas then we will just go for uh, undetermined coefficient and uh, in the last phase we will just uh, discuss about this unequal interval. So, in this section if you will just see that the estimation of a value of a derivative based on certain known functional values always certain values has been given and at that points usually we are just evaluating the derivatives. Sometimes if uh, the exact function is not known to us then we can just approximate this function by a polynomial and we can just evaluate the derivative for the polynomial and then we can just uh, say that this derivative of this function can be represented in this form there. So, several methods are available to find the derivatives of the function by using given set of uh, uh, tabular data. Like if you will have this uh, set of tabular data like x0, y0, x1, y1 to xn, yn, even if the function is not known to us, we can just evaluate this derivative of that function at certain points. So, here we will discuss both these methods based on both equal and uh, unequal space data points. Since already in the last lectures we have discussed that some of these interpolation polynomials that deals with this equal spaced points, some interpolation polynomials that are based on both these equal spaced points and unequal spaced points. And we have also discussed what are the drawbacks or uh, what are these advantages of different interpolation for formulas. So, the methodology for computing the derivatives at a given point is uh, rather simple. Since, if you will just uh, uh, find this uh, derivatives like dy by dx equals to f of x y, so various methods are available to evaluate this uh, first order derivatives. But if the function is exactly known to you, it is easy to evaluate. So, we have already uh, discussed like uh, how we can just approximate the function with a polynomial in the last classes. In order to find this derivative of this function here, we can just differentiate this approximated polynomial p and x with this function f of x here. This means that if we are just uh, the tabulated points like x0, y0, x1, y1 up to xn, yn here, where only the tabular values are known to us, but the function is not known to us. Then we can just uh, formulate a polynomial by considering all these uh, tabular points here and from that polynomial we can just find the derivative for the function. And at certain points if uh, it is required to evaluate this uh, derivatives, then at that point exactly we can just put in the polynomial derivatives there and we can just evaluate this derivatives for that function at that point. <coughs> if you will just see this graph here that is y equals to f of x is the curve we have plotted and this curve is approximated by a polynomial y equals to p x here. And if this is approximated, if you will just uh, visualize a point a in this graph here and if you will just plot the tangents at that points like a f and a p, we can find that these tangents are completely different. Then we can just say that sometimes this polynomial's differentiation is completely differ from this approximated functional derivatives. So, but if you will just use different uh, techniques to find this numerical differentiations by sufficiently close to these tabular points, then we can just obtain this derivative for the function is equals to the derivative for the polynomials. This means that we have to do this uh, domain discretization in a sufficiently close form that this tangents at different points for both these functions it should be equal. Then we can just say that this derivative for the function and the derivative for this uh, polynomial are equal. So, first uh, in this uh, discussion we will just consider this equispaced points whenever the points or the tabular points are equally spaced how we can use this uh, differentiation there. 
then we will just go for finite difference operators, then we will just go for undetermined coefficients. Suppose we will have this uh, given uh, set of uh, data values of f of x like uh, x0, x1 up to xn. In general approach, we can just derive this numerical differentiation method first to obtain an interpolating polynomial there. Then differentiate this polynomial. Suppose r times if you will just differentiate this polynomial, we can just write this polynomial as p n r x suppose. This means that first we are just approximating if you will just see <coughs> f of x is approximating with a polynomial of order p n x here. This means uh, f of x is approximated with a polynomial p of x of degree n. Then we can just write this uh, nth order difference or this uh, differentiation with respect to p n x with respect to r in the order of r s can be written as p n r x here. So, then at a particular point we can just write this polynomial differentiation of uh, order r as p n r of x k, where this differentiation is evaluated at the point x equals to x k of order r there. It may be noted that p n x and f of x may be. Sometimes they have the same values at the nodal points, but the derivatives are different that I have already shown in the graph. First we will just go for this uh, equispaced points and uh, the first equispaced uh, differentiation interpolation we will just uh, do uh, sorry this differentiation with the interpolation we will just uh, carry out here is Newton's forward interpolating polynomial. So, basically this uh, interpolating polynomial for Newton's forward difference formula is expressed in the form of like y for any point xp or usually you are just writing y of x or y at xp or we are just writing yp this can be written as in the form of like uh, y0 plus p delta of y0 p into p minus 1 by factorial 2 del square of y0 plus of 2 like uh, p into p minus 1 up to p minus of n minus 1 divided by n factorial del to the power n of y 0 here. So, if we want to differentiate this one first we have to consider this x p point as x 0 plus p h here and uh, especially this x p is nothing but the undetermined point or the point where we want to find this interpolation poly polynomial or the formula. So, at that point especially if we want to differentiate we can just write d x equals to h d p here. <coughs> or we can just write d p by d x that as 1 by h here. Either ways you can just uh, define this uh, uh, first order differentiation here. So, if you will just uh, write this uh, differentiation for this polynomial here, we can just write dy by dx that is the first differentiation of uh, y with respect to x here. So, we can just write dy by dp into dp by dx here and especially it can be written as 1 by h since all of this uh, points or this function whatever it is just expressed here that is a variable of p. So, that is why it is easy to differentiate this function with respect to p here. So, that is why we can just write this one as a d by dp of y 0 plus p delta of y 0 plus all these points here. And if you will just differentiate that one, so directly we can just write this one as 1 by h first point if you will just differentiate that will just give you 0 here, second point we will just get as a del y 0 here, third point if you will just differentiate here that is in the form of like p square minus p by 2 factorial here. So, it can be expressed as a 2 p minus 1 by 2 del square of y 0 here. So, likewise all of these points other points you can just uh, differentiate there. So, in a complete form if you will just write this one 
then uh, dy by dx can be written in the form dy by dx can be written as 1 by h. So, first point we are just writing here uh, del y 0 plus 2 p minus 1 by 2 del square of y 0 plus 3 p square minus 6 p plus 2 by 6 del q of y 0 plus likewise. Similarly, if you will just go for this uh, differentiation of a uh, second order, we can just write the second order derivative as d square y by dx square. This is nothing but we can just write d by dx of 1 by h dp by dx here. So, once more if you will just differentiate this one, we can just write this one as 1 by h square d square p by dx square here. So, if you will just go for this a uh, second order differentiation of uh, this formula here, once more if you will just differentiate this one, we can just write this one as d square y by dx square, this equals to 1 by h square. So, since uh, once more we are just differentiating this one with respect to p here, so this term will just give you 0 here, second term if you will just differentiate this one with respect to p here. So, 2 by 2 this is a 1 here, so del square of y 0 is the first term here. Then second one if you will just see here, so 6 p minus 6 divided by 6 del q of y 0 plus all other terms it will be carried out in the same fashion here. So, this formula especially can be used to compute the first and second derivatives respectively near the upper end of the table. This means that at the beginning of the table, if the data is uh, suppose asked to find, then we can just use this formula at that point. Since already in the previous classes, we have discussed already that Newton's forward difference formula, especially it is used if the tabular value is asked at the upper end of the table or the beginning of the table there. So, if suppose this tabular point is asked to compute this derivative exactly at suppose the nodal points. This means that if it is asked to compute at x equals to x0 or x equals to x1, especially we can just find that at that point exactly p equals to 0. So, then we can just uh, reduce this formulas as suppose uh, it is asked to obtain the derivative at x equals to x0 suppose. Then we can just say that p equals to 0 at that point and we can just write dy by dx at x equals to x0 as 1 by h delta of y0. Since p equals to 0 here, we can just write this one as minus half delta square of y0 plus so 2 by uh, 6 here. So, that is why you can just write 1 by 3 delta q of y0. So, all other points it will be considered in that form only. Similarly, if it is asked to compute this d square y by dx square at x equals to x0, then this formula can be written in the form like 1 by h square. If you will see here, this means that uh, we are just uh, obtaining p equals to 0 here. So, that is why this can be written as a del square of y0 minus del q of y0. So, all other points would can be considered in the same fashion there. So, it can be written in the form of like 1 by h square del square of y0 minus del q of y0 plus 11 by 12 del fourth of y0 minus so all other terms. So, first uh, for this uh, type of uh, differentiation we can just consider one example here. So, if you will just consider this example that all the points are equispaced here. So, if you will just uh, uh, take this uh, uh, tabular points like uh, x, y as 2 2.00, 2.20, 2.40, 2.60, 2.80 and 3.00 suppose and its functional values are expressed as like 0 0.6932 and 0.6932. Zero point nine five five five, 
then 1.0296 uh, sorry, one more point I have missed here. Just if I will just write uh, this point as 0 0.7885 uh, at 2.40, it is a 0 0.8755, then at 2.60, if the value is a 0 0.9555, and at 2.80, suppose the value is a 1. Point 0296 and at 3.0 suppose the value is 1.0986 suppose. So, first differentiation easily we can just obtain since in the last lectures we have already explained that one. So, we will just consider the dif difference of these two values here. So, first differentiation we can just take the differences like 0 0.7885 minus 0 0.6895. 6932. So, it can be written in the form of like 0 0.0953. This is the difference of these two values here. <coughs> Similarly, if you will just take uh, the second difference values here like 0 0.0870, if you will just take the difference of uh, these two values here, so that can be written in the form of 0 0.0800. The difference of these two values it can be written in the form of 0 0.0741. The difference of these two values it can be written in the form of like 0 0.0690. Similarly, for the second difference, we can just consider the difference of these two values here that will come as like uh, minus 0 0.0083. Difference of these two values we can just write this as a minus 0. 0070 here. So, third point we can just write minus of 0 0.0059 and the last one we can just write minus of 0 0.0051 here. For third difference, if you will just see, we can just take the difference of these two here and uh, that can be written in the form of like 0 0.00. 1, 3 here and if you will just take the difference of uh, these two here that can be written in the form of like 0 0.0011, if you will just take the difference of uh, these two here that can be written in the form of uh, 0 0.008. And in the fourth difference, if you will just take the difference of uh, these two here that can be represented as a minus 0 0.0002. And uh, last difference, this one also minus 0 0.0003 here. So, if you will just uh, put all these coefficients in the Newton's forward difference formula within differentiation of two third differences here. So, fourth difference, if you can just see that values are very small here. So, that is why you can just consider these differences uh, of two uh, third differences here. Since the question is asked uh, that using this following data, find y dash and y double dash at 2.00. This means that at x equals to x 0 there using up to third differences only. So, if you just uh, use here up to third differences, we can just write this formula dy by dx that in the form of like first term if you just write here del y 0, first one is 1 by h here minus half del square of y 0 plus 1 by 3 del q of y 0 here. And since it is asked to evaluate up to third differences, we can just write these terms up to third differences here only. For the, the second order differentiation, we can just write d square y by dx square, this equals to 1 by h square. So, first uh, differentiation term here we can just get it as del square of y 0 plus del q of y 0 here. Sorry, this one is minus here. So, if you will just uh, put this tabular values for x 0 equals to like 2.0 here, then we can just obtain this first difference term as 
like x0 equals to 2.00, so h equals to 0 0.20 also. So that is why y dash at 2.00, it can be written as 1 by 0 0.2 into the first uh, differentiation value that is uh, 0 0.0953 minus half into minus 0 0.0083 plus 1 by 3 into 0 0.0013 this equals to 0 0.4994 here. And if you will just uh, use for the second order differentiation here, then we can just find this as 1 by h square that is 1 by 0 0.2 whole square into del square of y0 that is nothing but minus 0 0.0083 minus del q of y0 that is minus 0 0.0013 here. So, the total value is a minus 0 0.24 here. So, next we will just go for Newton's backward interpolating polynomial. In the Newton's backward difference interpolation formula, especially this formula is written in the form like uh, y of x or y of xp or especially y of p. It can be represented in the form of like y0 plus p nabla of uh, y0 plus p into p plus 1 by factorial 2 nabla square y0 plus all other terms are there. So, if you will just write here p, then p can be represented in the form of p equals to x minus x0 by h here or x can be written in the form of uh, x equals to x0 plus ph here. And if you will just define here dp by dx here, so dp by dx especially if you will just differentiate both the sides here, this can be represented in the form of 1 by h here. And if we will just go for this uh, uh, differentiation here for this uh, function y of x here, then we can just write dy by dx as dy by dp since y is a function of p here, this into dp by dx here and especially it can be written in the form of 1 by h dy by dp here. So, then if you will just go for uh, like a second order differentiation here, then this can be written as like d square y by dx square, this equals to dy dx of dy by dx, if you will just see here, that is a uh, dy by dx can be replaced by 1 by h dy by dp and uh, then we can just write this one as 1 by h square d square y by dp square here. And uh, if we can just uh, put this formula or if we will just uh, write this one in the form of like y of x there, then we can just uh, represent this one as dy by dx as 1 by h d by dp of the complete formulation that is y0 plus p nabla of y0 plus p into p plus 1 by factorial 2 nabla square y0 plus all other terms are there. And if you will just differentiate this one, then we can just get this one as 1 by h. So, first differentiation this will just give you del y0 since y0 is a constant that will just give you 0 value here. So, then next one we can just write that as 2 p plus 1 by 2 factorial del square of y0 plus the third order term we can just differentiate, I can, we can just write there. And similarly, if you will just go for the second order differentiation here, then we can just write d square y by dx square as 1 by h square and one more differentiation for this function. So, if you will just write out here, then the first value since del y 0 is a constant here, then we can just write the second one as del square of y 0 here. Since the differentiation if you will just take here, 2 p means this is 2 by 2 it will just cancel it out. So, first term it will be like del square of y 0 here plus if you will just see here, then immediate next term it can be just represented as p plus 1 into nabla q of y0 plus all other terms are there. 
and especially if we want to find this uh, formula at the upper end of the table since usually I have uh, explained to you in the previous lectures that uh, this backward difference formula it is used at the end of the table. So, that is why if it is asked to find the value near the upper end of the table or at the lower end of the table then we can just use Newton's forward difference formula and the backward difference formula there. Suppose if you will just use this tabular point at x equals to x 0 suppose where p equals to 0 this means that we are just shifting this point to the lower end of the table and at that point only we are just using this p values. So, that is why at if you will just put at the lower end of the table x 0 then upper points it will be represented in the form of like x of minus 1, x of minus 2 up to x of minus n there. And if you will just put this means that if x equals to x 0 exactly then we can just put here p equals to 0. So, that is why your formula can be reduced in the form of like dy by dx it can be represented as 1 by h nabla of y 0 plus since p equals to 0 here then we can just write this one as a 1 by 2 nabla square of y 0 plus rest of the terms it can be represented from the formulation there itself. Similarly, if you will just put this p equals to 0 in the d square y by dx square here then we can just obtain this value d square y by dx square at exactly x equals to x 0 at the lower end of the table. And at that point we can just uh, say that 1 by h square. So, first value it will be nabla square y 0 plus if p equals to 0 here then this will just give you nabla q of y 0 plus all other terms are there. And immediate next term it if you will just write this one then it can just give you 11 by 12 del to the power 4 of y 0 here. And if you will just go for the set of data points like uh, the data points is given like 1.00, 1.25, 1.50, 1.75, 2.0, 0, 2.25 and their corresponding y values are like 2.7183, and if you will just use this uh, backward difference formula. So, in the backward difference formula if you will just see first we are just uh, taking this uh, first difference that is nothing but the difference of uh, first two values, but we have to consider these values like if we can just write x 0 at the end of the table here then our tabular values will be followed like from the bottom to the up of the table. So, that is why we can just consider this tabular values that in the form of so, if you will just uh, use this tabular values uh, that in the form of like uh, 1.00 as 2.71 and take the differences like uh, 3.4903 minus 2.7183 then it can just uh, provide the values as 0 0.7720 here. If we will take the difference 4.4817 minus 3 point uh, like 4903 then it can just provide us the value 0 0.9914. So, likewise the differences we can just calculate and uh, if you will just use in the differentiation formula here since the question is asked to find y dash and y double dash at x equals to 2.25 since it is at the end of the table using up to third differences. So, up to third difference formulas we will just consider up to third differences this formula can be written in the form of like dy by dx that is 1 by h nabla of y 0 plus half nabla square of y 0 plus 1 by 3 nabla q of y 0 here. And similarly for uh, second order differentiation we can just write this forms in the Newton's backward difference formula up to third order terms as 1 by h square nabla square of y 0 plus p plus 1 nabla q of y 0. And if you will just uh, put here h equals to 0 0.25 and uh, x 0 equals to 2.25 here. Then 
we can just obtain this uh, derivative as y dash at 2.25 that s 1 by 0 0.25. If you will just see this tabular values del y 0 it is just uh, giving you 2.0986 plus half into the second value that is nabla square of uh, uh, y 0 that is coming as uh, 0 0.46 uh, 41 and uh, last value 1 by 3 that is nabla q of y 0 that is coming as 0 0.1025. So, if you just evaluate this uh, uh, values so that will uh, just come as uh, 9 point uh, uh, 4593. Similarly, we can just obtain this uh, derivative uh, for second order that is at uh, 2.25 point also and it can be written as like uh, 1 by h square. So, that is why we can just write 1 by 0 0.25 whole square into your uh, nabla square of y 0 that is 0 0.4641 plus 0 0.1025 that is 9.0656 here. So, maybe uh, next class so we will just uh, continue about uh, this uh, differentiation using a Lagrange interpolating polynomial that is for uh, both for uh, equispaced points and uh, unequispaced points. Thank you for listening this lecture.